So hi, I'm Raj from The Generator Guys. Um, there are many times we're going to need to get your serial number and use it for something. Specifically now, we are um, connecting the uh, 1800 or so generators we service to the fleet system, which allows us to uh, remotely monitor your machine, um, clear a red light remotely, know when you have a red light, um, change your exercise time, upgrade your firmware, do all kinds of fun things. Um, and it's a really uh, excellent way for us to, um, you know, get uh, to know you have a problem before you even know you have a problem. So we'll know your machine isn't going to work before you know it's not going to work. And most likely 90% of the time we can um, simply correct it um, remotely from the office. So here is uh, how you are going to find your serial number, MAC ID and SSID, which are what we need to um, connect your unit to us. Um, right uh, behind the front panel down here uh, inside is a sticker. And the sticker, let's see if I can get in here. There it is. The sticker looks like that. And I, I, don't, I don't know how that's gonna look. There we go. And right on it are all the information you need. Um, so you can either stick your phone down there and take a picture. Um, and if it's not possible to do, um, because it might be tight, you take the front panel and simply lift it up half an inch and pull it out. And there's your front panel. Uh, and just to put it back, you do um, exactly the same thing. Stick the two pins in the slot, push it forward with your knee against it, push down half an inch. And again, there is the uh, information. Uh, so serial number, um, production data, the generator, all kinds of things that actually we don't need. And the newer models will have a Mac ID and an SSID on there. But in general, what we need from you is a picture of this um, sticker. And that's it. That's where you get your serial number and all the information required to connect to Wi-Fi.